So today I got a new bag <laughs> and I'm absolutely in love with it. So those of you who are familiar with Vendula, which is where I get these from, will recognise the design because they've brought it out in both brown and purple before. But personally, the green, oh, it's just beautiful. So it's basically a, a grace bag. So plenty of space inside for the books. And oh, it's just, look at the little spiral staircase. You've got all these gorgeous little details. And if you open the door, oh, there's a kitty. <laughs> so, oh, this one, this one, I mean, I, I've, I'm a big collector of Vendula bags. I absolutely love them. But I think this is my new favourite. I, oh, I just can't stop staring at it. It's beautiful. And if you look at the back, it's got a lantern. It's a little car <laughs> going around the side there. It's just gorgeous. Um... And like I said, this they they have done previous previous versions. I've got one of the purses in the uh, in in the brown, and one of the uh, the little belt bags in the in the purple. But the green is just spectacular. And uh, Vendula do so many great bags, and they're a real treat for book lovers. I'll show you just a couple of other examples of ones that I found quite bookish. <laughs> so this is Wally, and Wally is a bookworm. And the only problem is with Wally is that Wally's tiny. <laughs> so I just, I kind of have him more for decoration than for use because obviously I never travel anywhere without a book and you can't get a book in there. I mean, you could maybe get my Kindle in if you, if you squeezed it. And uh, yeah, that's Wally giving you sass. If my book is open, your mouth should be closed. But uh, you wouldn't expect that kind of sass from such a cute little face. Um, so yeah, he is adorable. A little bit more specific, but still bookish. This is the Sherlock Holmes Detective Agency limited edition. I think they're limited edition. I assume they're all limited edition just because, you you, you know, they only make a certain amount of them. Um, now this one's a Charlotte bag, so it's a little bit smaller than the Grace bag, but still plenty space. And <laughs> this one actually took me. As you can see, he's got his little violin little cat with a little pipe <laughs> and uh yeah they're like little dioramas this one actually took me a few days to discover the secret door um so if you look behind here oh, oh it's a lab a secret laboratory but uh, yeah i was just i was just <laughs> i was actually waiting for my mum and i was just fiddling about with it when i noticed that because it's actually quite tucked away but isn't that Vintage looking. <laughs> it's elementary, my dear Ratson. And the other one that I have that's kind of, although it's not technically bookish, it reminds me of all my book friends on Lipsy, just aesthetic wise. It's a cozy cottage. Cozy cottage to do your reading in. So, <laughs> again, it's a grace bag. I've had this one for a while. But uh, yeah, these, these, these bags are fantastic. They're just so beautiful. And although they're, like I say, they're not, they're, they're not cheap, but um, you know, just the value for money is amazing, just given how much detail they have. Because some, pe some people like spend absolutely thousands and thousands on bags. And these are my absolute favorites and they're much more affordable. And they're art, they're absolute artwork. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Just thought I'd show off my collection and, uh, yeah, brag about my new purchase. <laughs> Catch you later.